vows that you made today are not based on your feeling, are not based on whether the other person even deserves it. They're not doing their part. They're struggling. Those are the moments that Christ calls us to empty ourselves for the good of the other. because there is no greater moment and model of what we are called to and what you are saying yes to as you bow yourself as bride, groom, and bride, that you will pour yourself out completely for the good of the other, as he did for the good of his bride, the church. to be faithful to you in good times and in bad in sickness and in health to love you and to honor you all the days of my life I Clay take you Megan to be my wife I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. This concludes our rite of marriage. I do invite you all to join me in welcoming our newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Zeller. The two of you have already dealt with so much adversity and something to take comfort in is knowing that from this day forward you'll never have to face um, another trial alone. The two of you will always be together and you'll have the graces from your marriage going to walk through anything with one another. So it is a huge joy to get to celebrate this day with both of you and I pray that God blesses you abundantly as you start this new chapter of life with one another. So with that, Let's raise a glass in celebration for the bond that's been created today and we'll look with hopeful expectation for many years to come. when we got married, and I don't know, I still haven't really understood all these years later why, but it was kind of a strange tradition in her family. 
that they made me endure. And uh, Megan kind of insisted that she wanted to see that tradition carry on. So at this point, I'm going to ask Megan to give me one of her shoes. Trying to be initiated right. Uh, we're going to do a toast here. Everybody 